So, how to remove undercoat overspray from any vehicle. Not just a Toyota Tacoma, but everyone else too. Let's, get, let's take a deep dive into this. Alright, so before I begin, another channel shout out. And once again, to uh, Murray at Get Wrenching. Uh, and uh, I really do uh, like... Uh, seeing his content and uh thanks again for the subscribe man graciously appreciate it and uh if you if you got that notification bell too uh there's going to be more stuff like this coming uh automotive stuff because people don't know i'm into automotive stuff so i'm gonna go more into this and uh on a more personal note i can't wait to see this truck head down to shelburne i'm hoping in the spring if all goes according to plan so yeah finally this truck if all goes well this spring shelburne nova scotia it's going to be absolutely awesome i cannot wait i cannot wait i mean yeah it's been a long time coming i mean it's just an hour and a half from my place but i cannot wait to get back on the road with this truck and it's going to be shelburne the first stop with this truck if all goes according to plan and i do hope so i mean it's been a long time coming i do want to get back at this and see see a couple of my buddies up there too so a lot of cool cats up in shelburne gotta say but anyways back to this so i already washed the truck so yeah i already washed it i wasn't going to film myself do two hours of washing that would be way too long a video but yeah i did wash it and yeah just finished washing it so what did i use to take off the overspray well i'll show you so what did i use well first things first got garden hose got your terry towel an old terry towel more specifically that's for the body of the truck. Then you got an old sock for the uh, for the rims and tires. And then you got your wash and wax in the wash bucket. And you got your rinse bucket. Now, of course, the rinse bucket, that's, yeah, you fill that up with water, just water, not with the uh, wash and wax. And uh, basically when, with, that, with that rinse bucket, you rinse out either your terry towel or your sock be yeah right after you're done uh passing over on the truck you put that in that bucket and then you wring it out and then you put more suds on that back on the truck so or car suv whatever you have so anyways yeah that's that for that so yeah that's all i use now of course substitute the uh the old terry towel with a new one when it's uh, just a regular wash after undercoating or, or or even before or after a lot after i mean so basically this is after an undercoat and then after that you can it, it would be safe to use the uh the new terry towel so anyways that's all i use and uh might do some extracurricular stuff too on maybe checking for spots that need undercoat that maybe they missed because it has been through a shop and it, it's been fluid filmed i'll tell you more about that actually uh in, in a little bit so anyway catch you in a bit and we'll catch you later now of course there's probably people wondering why didn't you use rust check well here's the thing if this truck has been fluid filmed instead of rust check because Rust Check's a good product. Don't get me wrong. It's a good product. I do like it. But when it comes to moldings like this, especially that has double-sided tape or any rubber involved, yeah, I had to actually replace this Vortex generator right out. So, uh, yeah, this has been replaced two years of ownership as well as this molding right here. You see it's already, yeah, see? This has been replaced too. Yeah, this 
this part here, that's been replaced too. That's due to the, uh, the rust check eating away at a double-sided tape. Now also on the rubber, uh, when it comes to the, uh, actually on my old Tacoma, the fender flares, there's a big, nice piece of rubber that would have been, let's see if I can, yeah, it would have been right here on the fender flare of the old Tacoma. Now my dad has the truck now and, and it's starting to bulge or at least the uh, rubber starting to bulge. So anyways, good for the, the frame and that, but uh, not for rubber or double-sided tape. So anyways, as far as I know, flute film works good. Still gives long lasting protection. And I uh, think I might do, as I said, probably do some extracurricular stuff. Maybe do some checks underneath and see. I'm gonna see if I can bring the camera down or i.e. my phone and we're gonna go see what i could probably do see if there's any touch-ups or maybe where the uh yeah right where the uh the hoist was or right where the posts were for the hoist so i'm gonna go see if see if that needs anything so anyways catch you a bit later so some might be wondering why undercoat well because nova scotia because road salt and brine because corrosion anyways this is extracurricular stuff now i'm going to go underneath the truck i don't have a creeper but i did have the uh the old box for the nerf bars and i'm going to crawl underneath the truck and see if there needs to be right at the two post uh right where the two posts for the hoist were on each side and uh see if there needs to be undercoat there or whatnot so, under the truck I go. And it looks perfectly fine. Honestly, that's an awesome job. It really is. But yeah, if there was uh, anything right where the mounting points were for the, or the lift points for the truck, yeah, I would have probably seen them. But I think it was not done on a two post hoist from what I saw. So anyways, it's all good. And I'm still wondering why would Toyota call this a propeller shaft? I mean, honestly, I don't see a propeller on the end of the shaft. You don't need a captain's license to draw, to navigate this through the seven seas. Yeah, only a valid driver's license. So, why call this a propeller shaft? <laughs> Beyond me, really. I don't see a propeller on the end. But anyway, just thought I'd throw that in there. <laughs> Why would they call it a, a propeller shaft when there's no prop on the end, huh? On the ship or boat, maybe, but pickup truck? Really? <laughs> Honestly, me. I don't know what to think. Anyways, yeah, that, that'll that conclude this one. And uh, till the next time, take her easy.